Hi there. This is a video about a micro wind turbine I made based on the NEMA 23 stepper motor. Uh, this one makes about 15 volts at 1.5 amps maximum, so just a little over 20 watts, provided you've got the wind. Uh, it's alternating current. A stepper motor, when driven, creates alternating current. You have to rectify that. I'll show that a little later on. Um, and it's uh, not much power. You won't be running a hotel with this, but um, but it's a fun project. And uh, those stepper motors, while not intended to be out in the elements, uh, I found are perfectly capable. They have ball bearings. They're built to very close tolerances, and uh, and they uh, they work. So let me show you the parts. The hub is made from inch and a half thick solid aluminum. It's machined on a watchmaker's lathe and. All those holes are drilled and threaded using a 5C collet index. The uh, part that the blade's attached to there is about an 8th inch thick. It is an 8th inch thick. And the uh, set screw you see is a quarter inch fine thread. Uh, seems to hold a little better than the previous versions I've tried. Uh, the frame is steel, 2.5 inches wide, 8th inch thick, and uh, the center arbor there is recycled out of a ceiling fan. There's uh, two uh, radial bearings that the whole thing pivots on. The tail is uh, half inch insulating foam, thin gauge aluminum, thin gauge aluminum channel, which was scrap, and then there's two uh, uh, pieces of steel that I bolted to uh, the frame with. There's the frame all assembled. I do uh, inject a little bit of silicone up the wires there, up the center of those wires so water doesn't run down those and uh, it seems to work fairly well. Uh, everything pivots on um, electrical conduit. Uh, surprisingly a metric 6202 bearing that the ceiling fan has uh, fits almost perfectly inside inch and a quarter electrical conduit. What I do is I measure the depth of the bearings um, all the ceiling fans are different and uh, that tells me where I can put the pop rivet which uh, goes in there and the outer race sits on top of that pop rivet. Uh, then I take a Dremel tool and there's a little seam. If you look down in that pipe you'll see a little seam that needs to be ground off so that you can get the brake hone in there without destroying your brake hone and uh, all you're going to do is is uh, take off that galvanized that's in there and then you would think that that bearing was designed to go inside that pipe and uh, it fits in there nice and neat and again it rests on that pop rivet and that prevents, uh, that makes it pivot real easily in the wind. Um, it starts moving around the wind long before the blades um, engage. Uh, that cap, that's a PVC Schedule 40 terminating cap to go on the end of pipe and uh, that's all that is. Uh, and then for for my use for now I just charge a couple batteries with it. Um, that's full wave um, two phase uh, power there and uh, again I know that's not proper but that's the way I've made it. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the blades in a later video. Thanks for watching and good day.